Three. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's big porky here, the voice. You know that, don't you? Right, because that's why you've tuned in. First of all, I just want to give a shout out to Daryl who came on the other day, the looting kid living in Australia. Uh, I forgot your. Sorry, I've not forgot. I've lost your email. I don't know how. I'm not very good on these computers. So if you could email me. And to the gentleman who said he, in, he tried to get into the competition for the trainers, you uh, said I put out the wrong email address. Well, 74 other people got it, and yours were rejected. So I'll say it again porky corner at mail.com. All right. And there's nine pair out of the 10 to go. Porky corner at mail.com. The answer was Andre Gogolev. 2001 World Championships in Ireland. People who kept texting in, Chris Bessie, Peter, Fure, uh, Peter Manfredo, and this and that. No, it's Andre Gogolov. All right. So, anyway, I'm joined today by Arlie Marshall from... Is it? Ipswich, mate, yeah. Ipswich, aren't you? Near Norwich. Near Norwich. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> Blunderston. <laughs> sentence got out May 2004 Blunderston long, long time ago that near Great Yarmouth innit yeah yeah not too far maybe about 20 minutes down the road yeah yeah so so I've got some topics here do you want to dive in with me we'll go balls yeah in, yeah? yeah go on mate let's go mate let's go let's go uh, Eddie Earn and Joe Gallagher is there a bit of intense beef there or is it laughing lunch and meat what do you think? Mm. I think there's beef there, but if there's money to be made, like the Callum Smith Canelo, they'll work together, won't they? I think it's all about the money, isn't it? Being right, to be honest with you, mate. But yeah, yeah there is some beef there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. so you, th you, you think there's a bit of beef. There's a bit of friction. Isn't there? there's something mm. going there. They're not giving Callum Johnson, Beefy Smith, Natasha Jonas. Maybe they're not giving them the, the cool no. they deserve, are they really? No, it's like Callum Johnson. He deserves a big fight, doesn't he? Really, he he should be fighting Yard. Um, he should be fighting Bawatsi. There's no reason why they can't fight together. Fight have that fight made, is it? You know what? I think he beats Bawatsi because for the, the, Eddie Earns talking Bawatsi up as this roadman killer, but <laughs> but I, I I seen him in that last fight and I thought and you're only as good as your last fight and I thought that was shocking. He yeah, was shocking, wasn't it from him? He struggled, didn't he? Is he good? Life and death. Is he going to be another one that's come up from the McCracken conveyor belt or winning Olympic medals that don't stack up? I don't know. What, what do you think, Harley? I think I think he's got potential, but he's been matched terribly, hasn't he, really? He hasn't had that middle ground fight, has he, really? He hasn't had that testing fight to see where he's at. I know he, he's won a British, but he beat, was it Conway? I think not a good opponent for the British. So he needs like a Jose Burton, like you say, a Callum Johnson type opponent, really, I believe. Yeah, uh, he needs to do something, doesn't he? Because time's marching on. Olympics for 2016, we're 2021. And nobody yeah. knows who Joshua Boatsy is. No, it's not got a big profile at all. No, but what I don't like about it all is that lot up there, that, that EIS, they're up there and they shouldn't be up there. And the signing fighters and managing them like Joshua, they shouldn't even be up there. What What's going on? Mm. Who's asking, prodding questions about that up there because yeah. a lot gone off up there but they don't want to talk about it's, it's to do with Rob McCracken isn't it He's, it, well he trains them all up there doesn't he uh, I, I mean I like Rob McCracken I've met him several times but it doesn't seem fair it just seems like they're just doing what they want it's the wild wild west if that were FA with football there'd be Ellen or Lawn Tennis Association we Wimbledon or whatever they call it tournaments yeah. tennis bat and ball you think uh, you think Eddie Hearn has a monopoly all over that, though, doesn't he, really? Because he signs all the Olympians, oh, doesn't he? Sure. I'm the Olympian yeah. uh, of uh, gone elsewhere. But no, it's wrong. Man. Yeah. He's what it is. All right, then, so we've covered the Joe G, Eddie Hearn, intense beef. Uh, Dylan White, Richard Rapporte. Dylan White's been bitching like a little girl, like a little girl that... Uh, Richard Riaporte didn't take the Lawrence O'Coley fight. Uh, why, I don't know. But Dylan were coming out with something like, you've got to take opportunities when they come. We were on Sky, just watched it. But 
Dylan White didn't take his opportunity, did he? When he mm-hmm. got offered Cooler, mm-hmm. when he got offered Wilder, when he got offered Ortiz twice, and when he got offered Big Dosafemi at Wembley mm-hmm. for yeah. five belts, or were it four belts? Four belts at Wembley, uh, 90,000 sellout, they were saying, weren't they? Five million. Mm-hmm. He didn't yeah. Chance, did he? No. That had been his biggest purse of his career by a mile as well, I'd say. So, yeah. So now he's trying to, he's trying to uh, pimp Richard Riaporti out, but at least the kid stood his ground, did not he? Yeah, no, it's good. So I don't agree with that, but people in glass houses, Dillian, shouldn't throw stones. Come see me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bricktop and Eddie Hills, you know, the four and old boxer. Yeah. Star, free way way of. <laughs> Super heavyweight, whatever he were called. All six foot five of him, lanky streak of piss. Well, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, they don't seem to have had this meeting yet, do they? No. Why do they need to have a meeting? Anyway, we've got Zoom. You can do it anywhere <laughs> in the Wales. All this technology, Matchroom and Queens, we've got, and they can't get it on Zoom. What's all that about? Uh, I don't know. They're, they're, they're good fights to be made between the two, really. It needs to happen for the sake of British oh, boxing. But... Boxing's heading for Skiddy Row. Mm. Yeah, it's a dark age, isn't it, Ross? <laughs> it's a very dark age when we've got Logan Paul jumping on, 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 on into his 50 million subscribers, coming out with things like, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to fight Floyd Mayweather. Well, what's all that about? <laughs> what, oh, it's a joke. What, taking money out of sport when... It, I don't agree with it. Um, it. It's just sending me bonkers, sending me mad. You've got kids putting the time in and not getting a look in. You've got these dossers from America wanting to just pinch all big fights. And Mayweather's retired anyway. He can do what he wants. Terry Chappadama says he's earned the right to to have exhibition bouts like that. Well, fair enough. But yeah. them YouTubers, Eddie Earn made them turn pro, didn't it, to get a bit of credibility. But come on. Billy Joe on undercard of a YouTube, two YouTubers going at it. What's all that about? Yeah. It's just milk, milking it now, isn't it? It's just milking it. It's milking it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like the Mike, it's like the Mike Tyson, Roy Jones. So everyone's going to get involved in it. Sadly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike Tyson, Roy John, you live fought, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's, these people just joining onto it. The old fighters now think they can fight now, don't they? They can do expedition fights and just make make money, whatever. Milk it. Yeah, it's not good, is it, Ali? Uh, so, no, do you think they're ever going to get it together and work it together, or do you think do you think the, the the egos are too big? Do you think it's Eddie more than Frank who don't want to do it? I think Eddie Eddie doesn't want to give him the kind of leg up because he is in the number one position. To be fair to him, but and Frank's in a dodgy position right now, obviously with Yard losing, Dubois losing. But um, yes, I don't think it will happen to be, me personally. To be honest with you, Russ, Frank's but, a promoter at year in my opinion, though from Britain because yeah, he's put the be- he's put the best fights on. Don't get me wrong, he's put the best fights on. He's rolled dice, Andy Eddie, and he's give it the yeah. old accountant by name, accountant by nature. Isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, moving on from Bricktop and uh, the adventures of Tintin, Eddie Earn, aka Walter Mitty, four <laughs> and zero, oh, three by way of. All right. Uh, He, what's that say there? Oh, Femi and Fury. I thought he said two. Yeah. Big Doss of Femi and Fury. 2021, 2022, or oh, never happens. What do you think, Carly? I reckon 2022, late 2022. I think they'll milk it for another year, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they've got to be careful, though, because if Joshua fights Usyk, I think there's a real, real possibility he loses that fight, to be honest with you, mate. Brooke Khan, you've seen it in the Sun newspaper. Everybody in Sheffield's buzzing about it. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Is it just has it gone on too long? Is it uh, flush uh, fighting? I think that's, that ship sailed long, long time ago, uh, Russ. To be honest with you, you think the casuals will buy into it though? Yeah, I do think casuals will buy into it. Don't get me wrong, but both, both of them, I would have liked to have seen it. Obviously, before they both took the L's, big L's and whatnot, so but I don't know. What weight would it be at, Russ? I'd have thought 154 me, wouldn't you? Cause not yeah, really, you would think No belt, will there? No, no. Uh, and and they both like the scram. I don't think there'll be a belt. Uh, 
I think Amir's resistance has maybe gone on his punch resistance. Mm -hmm. Shame is a nice kid. Kel Brook's a nice kid. He just mm -hmm. he looks like he doesn't like even getting hit in the face, doesn't he? No, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so for him to come back and pinch pay per view, it would be abuse. And what about Eddie Hearn in all this? Didn't want to work with Amir Khan again. Felt he messing about about Kel Brook, and then he turned on Kel Brook in that interview, didn't mm -hmm. he? With Coogan, blah blah blah. Now he's trying to put it on together. He's got as a man got no scruples. <laughs> no, hey, he's got no morals, mate. <laughs> he would a criminal. He'd end up like Bertie Smalls, wouldn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was a disgrace how they dealt with Kelbrook, um, Eddie Hearn, and Adam Smith. Mm. Yeah, Adam Smith, Mr. Bean. Well, <laughs> uh, runner Bean, could have been. Runner Bean, could have been. You've never been. Baked Bean, <laughs> Creepy Bean, Beanie. Rumple Stiltskin, we're on to you. And your laptop in. Uh, <laughs> Dylan White's B sample. It's about 530 days now, Dylan White's B sample. Do you know which courier service is delivering it from? Mm. I'm not sure, mate. Maybe DHL. I'm not sure. But what, why doesn't Tony Bellew mention that? He has a lot to say about Canelo, but why doesn't he mention Dylan White's B sample? Yeah, he doesn't say nothing about that, does he? Oh, good old no. Bellew, the disappearing man, or the reappearing <laughs> man. I don't know what he is, but every time <laughs> I turn on my TV, I've got Tony Bellew there giving an opinion. Yeah. It is what it is. What do you think about Dave Colwell? Dave Colwell's Sunday sermons on the previous. <laughs> fights in America and England. He does like a Sunday sermon, doesn't he, Wait, Yeah. Boxing social, IFL, seconds out and behind the gloves. He's like, he's always, he's like Johnny on the spot, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a TV trainer, isn't he? TV trainer, isn't he? But yeah. he's anybody from scratch. Yeah, I know. He's not got a record like Joe Gallagher's, has he, from scratch? No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it is what... Or well, Tibbs. Yeah. He's done better than him, hasn't he? You know yeah, Mark. A lot better than Mark and Jimmy Tibbs have done great stuff, mate. So. Great stuff, yeah. Uh, drugs in sport. You think we should let all these boxers go and take what they want, performance enhancing drugs, or explain to them that they're responsible for what goes in their bodies? Anybody, any failures is a lifetime ban and it'll set a precedent for the sport to be mm. set. What do you think? To yeah, that? I totally agree with that. I'd, I'd go one step further and say if you're on performance enhancing drugs and you're in a ring and you're trying to hurt someone, you should go to jail for it because I think you could kill someone, couldn't you, if you're on something. I think they should go further with it. I think we had all and, this at the end, didn't we? We were going on about it and safety. Yeah. And somebody got injured, didn't they? Then on the Tuesday, he's making Povetkin against White. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, uh, we don't know where we are with them, do they? The, 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 the charlatans, aren't they? Lots of them. Well, mm -hmm. uh, Campbell. Garcia. Oh. Yeah. Um, I was a, I was a little bit disappointed with Luke Campbell. I, I, I thought Garcia would win, but when Campbell had Garcia hurt, I expected him to go for it, but he didn't really go for it, did he? He's just wow. he was looking to counter him the whole night, really, and it just didn't work for him, did it? His tactics were a bit off, I thought. Yeah. Uh, where does Luke Campbell go now? Because all he's got on mantelpiece is... A Commonwealth title, same as Tommy. Yeah. Where, where, where does he go from here, Luke Campbell? Is he going to beat Neely, man, or is he, is he going to be one of them kids that's good enough to win a world title, but yeah. just never had the rub of the green? Do you think he'll have one more go in him at 135, or will he step down to 130, where I think he could do some damage? Mm. I think your mate um, Terry summed it up quite well. I think he, he could sell his name, but I think he'd be best off retiring, to be honest with you, because I think, I I think he's taken a lot of time. Pardon? I haven't put that video out yet. How did you know that? Oh, no. I've, I've, well, he's, I was talking to him about the fight. I messaged him or whatever. Oh, um, right, right, yeah. right. Oh, you and Terry, eh? Oh, oh. oh yeah. I, <laughs> on there. I follow his channel as well, mate. You you and Terry, mate. You're my favourite two channels. Oh, call out my <laughs> arsehole, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Dogs do that. You're not a dog, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but um, mate, fanboy, you're making me go ready, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, mate, um, Luke Campbell, though, um, I think, yeah, you could go to 130, maybe 140, maybe he could go. Um, he's quite a big lad, isn't he? So, for the weight, he's quite tall, he's 5'11, 5'10, 5'11, yeah, 5'10, 5'11. So, 
maybe 140 and wait for Josh Taylor to obviously the Josh Taylor's going to unify so maybe pick up a belt there maybe but I don't know I don't think he'll win a world title me now I think he's he took too long of his career he was he was like he fought Mendy didn't he the rematch but he, he took too long fighting people he should have been fight he shouldn't have needed to fight really as a as an Olympian, you should be going straight like what Lomachenko's done. You should be going, and Usyk, you should be fighting five, ten fights, then fighting for a world title, I believe. Yeah, I, so. I think it just dragged on, didn't it, a little bit? Olympic mm. gold medalists, they should be brought on a bit quicker than your you, 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 you Ted Cheesemans and your Eggington. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Joe Joyce didn't mess about, did he? Yeah, Joe Joyce. That's a good example, yeah, Joe Joyce. Yeah. Lomachenko, Usyk, they didn't mess about, did they? Oh, no. so what unified champion was he after sixteen fights? Yeah, he he, he went even Josh Taylor oh, as well. A good amateur. He disputed all six, wasn't he? Yeah, in the WBS, yeah, World Boxing Super Series. Yeah, yeah, he'd done all that in sixteen fights, so you have to give them credit. And I, I mm. didn't want to see Luke Campbell. And once he got beat by Mendy, and he'd had all them fights, and then it took him three year to re well thirty three months to rematch Mendy. Once that happened, I'm thinking to myself, well, what, what, where's he been for 33 months? Well, this should have been happened straight away. Mm. Eddie wanted it straight away, but the the messages coming back from Team Campbell were that they wanted to drag it out and and, and take the time and all that. Well, yeah. 34 this year. I, th I think they missed the boat because because yeah. he could have he could have gone quick like Cro he could have fought around the crawler time and he could have beat crawler, couldn't he? Like the Perez's the crawler. Well, all that performance of the night, you'd have to say a peak crawler against. Uh, you'd make Luke Campbell a favourite against Crawler, but... Yeah, you would, yeah. Put Crawler's best performance, uh, best few performances up against yeah. Campbell's, you'd have to say Crawler beats him, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would, the Barroso and fights like that, isn't it? But You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and you've got to think of poor Derry Matthews in all this. He, he beat Crawler, but he lost against Campbell. Boxing's all about timing, isn't it? Mm, exactly, yep, exactly. All about timing, mate. But Luke Campbell's got a Commonwealth title on mantelpiece. Who's his top three wins? His top three. Matthews, like you say, I reckon's up there, probably. Um, well, Mendy, you'd say. And yeah, and Perez, is I it? But Perez was shot. Oh, yeah. But he was shot at the time. He, he's not, he's gone off to do not great things. So, yeah. Yeah. Gone on to do not great things. So, what do you think about women's boxing at the moment? And do you think Natasha Jonas? Should get a rematch with. I think I think women's boxing is actually good. They just need to give us the fights we want to see. There's some good young women who are coming up. I think Ellie Scottney's a good young fighter coming up. Um, I like her. I like I like um, Savannah Marshall. She's a cracking fighter. I think she's the best of the lot. To be honest with you, mate. And Clarissa, Clarissa Shields is ducking her. I don't know why she's going to MMA. That's craziness. But you know. So I think that's yeah, there's some good fighters, mate, and just got to see them get made, you know. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the current situation with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury? Do you think do you um, see it going to court? Yeah, I see it going to court. Um, I, I don't, I can't see how Tyson Fury and Bob Aaron think they can get out of a contract. I think I have a rematch clause during this pandemic as well. So, and I think Al Heyman's quite quite a smart bloke. So I don't see. I wouldn't. I, I think that's going to be a tricky situation in court, to be honest with you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? I think that uh, it's going to go go to court. That's what I think. Yeah. They're not just going to roll over like that. They're Americans. Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel are big dogs. Yeah. They've been at this game for 30, 30 odd years. They're not. They're not. They're not stupid. You know. No. And the fact that brick top said they were going to announce Tyson Fury's next fight on December 5th on the, yeah. Monday or the Tuesday, was it? And then they didn't announce it on the Monday. And on the Tuesday, I think they said it Yeah. Was. The fact that Brick Tops, he'll have had a look at the situation and they're in a bit of a tight spot. From what I'm hearing by people who, who told me a couple of bits and bobs, that it's going to be a bit of a tight spot for Tyson Fury. That's why he can't get a fight. He's 11 months out of the ring now, Tyson Fury. That's a long layoff to not sharpen your tools, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's worrying for him. You, you want him to get a fight really before before if he fights Anthony, if he fights in Joshua. But I don't see it happening next year. I think he'll fight Wilder again in the third fight. I think they'll have to do that. To be honest with you, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think I think Fury would beat them all anyways. I think he beats them comfortably. But we'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, so what fights are you looking forward to seeing in 2021, Um I want to see, um, I want to see Tiafimo Lopez, Javonta Davis. That'd be a great fight, I believe. Um, I'd like to see Josh Taylor Ramirez. Hopefully that's going to get done, isn't it? So that'd be a good fight. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see um, Eubank Charlo. I think Charlo and Eubank would be a cracking fight, mate. So they're my top three, really. Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, I'd like to see Fury against uh, Wilder Free. I'd yeah. like to see Callum Johnson against Boatsy. I'd like yeah. to see o- Jose Burton uh, get get a fight at, at 175. I'd like to see Harper Jonas rematch. I'd like to mm. see Anthony Tomlinson fight Conor Ben. I'd like to see Josh Whale fight Gary McDonnell in a trilogy because they've had two fights. Yeah. And uh, but it, that'll never happen because yeah. who knows what what you get off Josh. You get yeah. you get punched upside down. What, what's happened to the McDonald twins? They don't train, do they anymore? There's nothing. What are they I'm doing? Actually, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard Caldwell uh, they'd been partying and he grassed them up to Eddie Earn and threw them out of gym. That's what I've heard. Oh really? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Said his eyes and knees, isn't he, old Coldwell, aka Penrill, your little fucking house mm. But uh, it is what it is. So I think that's about it, really. Uh, all right, then. Uh, mark down your fights that you want for this year, then next year. We'll, 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 well, well, we've all got it on film here now, haven't we? All you, yeah. all you hardcores. Jot down what fights you want this year or what you think should happen or what they're talking about. And then look at it a year later. And you'll see how boxing fans are abused, and we're just we're just up to here with the bull, with the bull, with people like Eddie Earn inserting themselves into every scenario, making it about them, and other people taking the lead off him and doing that. And these little cults, they all want busting up wide open in boxing, and he's busting up wide open, and then starting again from scratch, because the foundations it's built on quicksand. And you know, it's, you know, if you're going, you know, it's like, for instance, if you're building out, you're going to build good foundations, aren't you? Well, boxing border controls built on quicksand, and and it's sinking, and they keep trying to put things right. The old, the old boys' network's got to go. It's got to go, right? It's got to go, and for it to move forward, that's my opinion. If any board have got a problem, I don't care. I've not got a board license, so jog. But uh, that's how passionate I feel about the sport of boxing. But it is what it is. So thank you for coming on, young Harley Marshall. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Take a bit of banter. I like that. It's only, <laughs> it's only a bit of fun, isn't it? It's, we're yeah. only just doing it to right, add a bit of uh, uh, banter to it. We've, I've got a different style to everybody else, but I'm not like Trish Dixon. I'm not going to sit in Barry Earn's house doing boxing live stories <laughs> with Barry here and OBE. I'm not going to sit there two hours with him and not ask him why he's in Jeffrey Epstein's book. So Trish Dixon, I know you're watching. And if you're not watching, my porky followers will send this to your Twitter. Why are you not asking Barry Hearn why he's in Jeffrey Epstein's book, but yet you've been sat on his sofa two hours? That's what's wrong with boxing, Harley. Yeah, oh, 100%. Cause if that were Thank me, you very much. That, if that were me, it'd be all over news, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Epstein's book. What's he doing on Epstein Island? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I've got one now. I've had one for ages, but do you know what I mean? But thanks for coming on. This is going to go out. What day is it today? Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, yeah. So it's Thursday tomorrow. I'm filming at Crawford Ashley's tomorrow, Thursday. So this is going to go out Friday because Terry's video is out tomorrow. So this is going to go out Friday. All right, my friend. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Okay, you take care, Ollie. I'll send you the first one to get it. Lovely. Cheers, one. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Bye. Bye. Well, that was young Harley Marshall from Ipswich. Nice lad there. Paid me a few compliments. Made me go all embarrassed. Thought you were hanging out of the back of me there. I was worried. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? He's a nice kid and he could take a bit of banter. We don't mean any harm to anybody, do we? We're just trying to, just trying to talk boxing as if we're talking down pub, aren't we? <laughs> Not that pubs are open. Go on then, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing.
Don't have nightmares, John Fury, about Mickey Theo. All right. If you want to come on Porky's Corner, pick up the phone, John. You've got my number. I'll text you enough. You've gone missing, John. So all I'm going to say is... Peace out.